Hey, what's going on, guys? It's that kid Nico here doing another little video for you guys. Today I'm doing a unboxing video from Lake Fork Trophy Lures, showing you how I would rig the baits, showing you what colors I got, and things like that. So let's get right into it. First off, I got this cool Lake Ford Trophy Lures hat, I'll definitely be wearing this in the future. It has the mesh so it keeps you pretty cool. And then I got two Lake Ford Trophy Lure buffs, which if you don't know what buffs are, they're something that go over your head and they keep sunlight off your neck and your face when it gets really sunny and hot out. So first off for baits, we got um, hyper finesse worms in watermelon red. These are probably rig on a drop shot or maybe a little lighter shaky head. They got that little worm tail action. So you really don't have to move these a lot. I fished these before and they have a lot of tail action. You don't really have to shake them or jiggle them. You can dead stick them and they still do good like that. So, next we got some Hyper Freaks and Pumpkin Pepper. Now these, I like a lot. These I would Texas rig weightless during like when the fish are up really shallow, like three, four foot of water maybe. And these are kind of the same concept. They have the little hinge tail. They shake around a lot. You don't really have to do much. I like to twitch these and just kind of work it like a little jerk bait sometimes. And sometimes you wacky rig them and that works good too, but don't wacky rig them through the middle or else they'll tear. But, so we have those. And I would use these a lot. So, we got those baits. Next up, we have Magic Cross Swirl in the Hyper Sticks. So, it's the same bait, except it has green to it. And I don't know if you can see that, but it has a little tint of blue. And a little tint of blue when the crawfish turn blue because they change colors during the seasons. That would be good. I would Carolina rig these too a lot. That would work really well here. We have a lot of deep clear lakes. And Carolina rigs and jigs and drop shots are the main three baits that thrive here. And next up we have the flippers, which we do have trees in Arizona. So these would be a good bait to flip. They have the little pinchers on there. This color is a sun perch. It has like a green pumpkin red and then it has the orangish belly and it has those little pinchers on them to add a little extra detail. And I like these a lot. They have really good actions. They're really soft baits too. So I like something that's a little softer. It gives it a little bit more action to it. So. Next, we have a Lake Fork Popper. Has a little rattle to it. And I like these a lot because they have the feather hooks. And I don't know if it's just me, but the feather hooks help a popper a lot in a lot of different ways by adding detail and things like that. And this is a really good color too. I would, I use that color a lot and that color works pretty good in Arizona along with a lot of different color popper mess. And then I got back to the hyper finesse worms which these are in the green pumpkin and it's the same concept green pumpkin you can never go you can never have enough green pumpkins in every any kind of bait it works everywhere doesn't matter what water clarity but, like I said, I would rig that on a lighter, shaky head or a drop shot and dead stick it. And on a shaky head, I would kind of hop it and twitch it along a little bit. Make it 
give a little extra action. Next up, we have the Hyper Worm and the Watermelon Chartreuse color. Now this is a bait that I haven't thrown yet, but I have been wanting to try for a long time. It's a really good Carolina rig bait. When you twitch it through the water, this tail moves a lot because it has those hinges on it. It has that big paddle tail to it. It has the really nice colors that work here in Arizona. It has more of a green pumpkin tint at the top, and then it has a pepper chartreuse at the bottom. And those two colors work really good. Chartreuse, purple, and green pumpkin, and brown in Arizona. It's those four main colors that work the best here. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the natural color in them or what, but. And then we have more six inch hyper worms and green pumpkin. So the same style bait, green pumpkin has a paddle tail, nice Carolina rig bait right there. But like I said, there is a lot of deep clear lakes here predominant for drop shot, the Carolina rig. We do like to throw pop waters out here a lot. Those work really good at like lakes like Lake Pleasant. That's one of our best topwater lakes in the state by far. Next up, we have our Hyper Worm and Watermelon Candy Red. Now, it's the same style bait. This has like watermelon candy. It has purple flake, green flake, a little bit of black flake. And on the other side, it has a little bit of flake, but it has a calmer side to it. So, it, this looks on one side to be a little lighter than the other, and the other side is flake, and the other does too, but it doesn't have quite as much flake. But, like I said, another good Carolina rig bait to try out. So, by the way, go check them out for sure. I would recommend them 10 out of 10. Now we got some more six inch hyper worms and the hot motor oil. Now this color kinda, it's a red mold and it has red flake to it. And tomato color, which looks kinda similar to this, has been working pretty good on the west coast for sure lately. It had a little bit of a popularity boom and it's been doing really good out here. So that would be a good bait to try. I have a tournament coming up here at Roosevelt here in a while. So I'm going to definitely be trying out a lot of these baits in the next couple weeks and testing them out. I'm sure I'll have a lot on a lot of them. So we'll see what we get on them. Now we got the Hyper Finesse Worms in the tomato color, which is what I was just talking about. And it's that little bit of red. It has that red and black flake in it. And that, that color has been working really good everywhere, it seems like. I was just in Texas for a while, and they were using that quite a bit, and it was working pretty well for a lot of people. So that tomato color is doing really good right now. So we'll definitely try that, like I said, on the drop shot or shaky head for that little hyper finesse worm. Next up, we got our hyper sticks and the watermelon red. So this is another bait like that other one I was showing you earlier that I, I like to Texas rig this and fish it in trees, like way back in trees with like 15 pound line. It works really good, just twitching it along, dragging it along. And another cool thing is when you pop this thing over rocks, when it shoots up, because it's lighter bait, and it falls back down, it'll kind of shimmy back to the bottom, which can generate a lot of strikes. So we have that bait. And this is also another good Carolina rig bait. I'd use this on a lot of different stuff, a Texas rig, Carolina rig stuff like that, tossing it back in the trees weightless. But next up, we got our 
Piper sticks again, and this is another sun perk color. It has that orange, and it has that watermelon tint to the top. And this imitates a lot like bluegill with that darker back and that little bit lighter stomach that they have to them. And they just swim along and bass one of their main forages here are crawdads and, crawdads and bluegill. So you kind of get the best out of both worlds with this color. So if you drag it, it can imitate an injured bluegill or a crawdad too. So that I would use, like I said just a minute ago, on a Carolina rig. Next up we have our flippers again in the watermelon red. Now this is another color of that flipping bait I was showing earlier with the little pinchers on it right there. And another thing you could do with these is they have these flappers in the middle, these really big ones. And one thing I like to do a lot of times to get a little extra action out of it is I'll break them apart like that. They're connected by a little piece of mold and I like to break them apart. It just, when they're sitting up like that, these pinchers will be standing up like that. And when these things are in the water, this these will kind of flail around. So it just gives it a little extra action that those fish need to trigger them to bite sometimes. Because one thing in Arizona, like a lot of lakes too, we have finicky fish. They don't like to move far for their bait. If you put something in front of them that they want, they'll eat it. So next up we have hyper finesse worms and the hot motor oil, which the hot motor oil kind of looks like that tomato, has a little bit more red in it, and it has this little tail that shimmies around. And a drop shot, a little shaky head, but these things, I've been testing them out. I really like them so far. Had a lot of success and luck on them. So, I've got some nice fish on those baits. So, we'll see how we do on them when I go pre-fish for my tournaments. When the bite starts to slow down, I'll probably go to one of those hyper finesse worms. Now we got the flipper and magic cross swirl, which is that green pumpkin with a little bit of blue tint. And like I said, just bust them apart and you'll get that little extra action out of them with those things flailing around. And don't do it all the time, just experiment with it. Cause there's times where those fish won't want it so in their face and wavy and waving around. They'll want it a little a little slower, calmer presentation, but if they're finicky and they're not eating it, just little simple tricks like that is what can make such a huge difference on these bass. It's just unbelievable. And now we got flippers and the killer craw, which I like this color a lot. It's probably my favorite color out of all of these. It's a green pumpkin with a little bit of orange and green fleck. And I would probably rig this Texas rig flipping. And that would probably do good at places like Lake Havasu. Lake Havasu is a river system and it has a lot of toolies a lot a lot of toolies and up in the river if there's always a flipping bite you just gotta find it and i'm sure that would get them to bite so next up we got more flippers from the green pumpkins now these are just the standard green pumpkin with a little bit of black flake in them just like anything you'd buy and like i said you can't get enough of the green pumpkin there's no such thing as too much green pumpkin it works everywhere, clear water, muddy water, stained water, dirty water, every kind of water clarity there is. 
it works and I've caught him on green pumpkin and two inch visibility and I've caught him in 35 foot of visibility so on this green pumpkin so it doesn't matter the water clarity green pumpkin works year round all the time it imitates so many different things crawdads bluegill so many different things that bass will eat and will trigger them to bite so just keep that in mind if you think they're not eating green pumpkin they will you just got to find the bait they want and they'll eat it in a green pumpkin i'm sure so like okay like hyper finesse worms and the watermelon red so or watermelon seed i'm sorry uh it's a little lighter it kinds of it's kind of like a green pumpkin it has a black flake to it but the molds on these are a little bit lighter than the green pumpkin and like i was saying earlier about the green pumpkin working everywhere all year round watermelon seed will too it's just a little lighter if they really aren't eating the watermelon or, or you have a green pumpkin or watermelon red or anything like that go to watermelon seed it's just a little bit little bit lighter a lot of people throw it but it works quite a bit it doesn't matter where you are it's one of the best colors in my opinion watermelon seed green pumpkin green pumpkin red and any kind of brown or purple works phenomenal here so next up we have the hyper finesse worm and green shad this is something i would use quite a bit number one it's like a clear bait but it has a little bit of pearl and black flake in it and this is something i would use up shallow on a drop shot when the shad are spawning because there's so many bass after they're done and everything like that and the shad spawn starts happening there's going to be so many shad up shallow so this would be a good bait to use up there when those bass are looking for a meal and they're up there shallow getting ready to spawn doing their thing so like i said that on a drop shot is phenomenal and drop shot the depths i've caught them it tends for me the deeper you go with a drop shot the bigger they get but you can go up shallow on a drop with a drop shot and catch big fish just as easy you just got to find the big school of them find the school of nice size fish and you'll catch them like i went out at lake havasu where those flippers will probably work good on that river lake and caught a six pounder on a drop shot in like 20 foot of water and if you go up here you can catch fish in two foot of water that range from a half a pound but if you find a big school of them there will be quite a big big quite a lot of big fish in there so next up we have the hyper finesse worms and the per chart pepper it's a little bit lighter it's like kind of like a really light color of mud if that makes sense and it has a little bit of brown to it, or black fleck and brown fleck to it. And this bait would work really good on a drop shot or a shaky head because when this thing is standing up, these baits float. So when, even on the, a drop shot, when if you leave a little bit of slack in, it'll fall really slowly because of that hook weight, but it'll still fall in that tail will quiver down and it'll trigger a lot of strike so that's how I would rig it and then one last thing in here we got our tungsten weights and I love tungsten weights for drop shotting or Texas rigging I'm sorry uh, I love them for Texas rigging I use one ounce or three quarter on a Carolina rig right there and then so I'll use a lot of half ounce three eighths ounce when I'm Texas rigging I don't usually go three quarter to one ounce we don't do a lot of punch in here but 
if you go flipping way back and a lot of grass and it's thick or if you're flipping a lot of thick li lily pads I suggest a three quarter to a one ounce weight but that's all we got for today guys for the unboxing video thanks for watching check out my social media sites that kid Nico on Instagram Facebook snapchat Twitter all of those once again thanks for watching thanks for all the Lake Fort trophy lures support and I will be using liquid mayhem on all of my baits it is one of the it is the best scent I have ever used I wasn't a big believer in scents until I met liquid mayhem and liquid mayhem has had quite the impact on how many fish I catch so I suggest checking them out, Lake Fork out. I'd just like to give a thanks to all my sponsors and for all their support. Lake Fork Trophy Lures, a and Graphics, Liquid Mayhem, Oven Vision, uh, DJ Custom Jigs, Denali Rods, Rod Socks, Lake Fork, or Lucky Tackle Box. They do so much for me and I'd just like to acknowledge them for all the support they have and for all the care they've given me over my fishing career and what they've done for me so I'd like to thank them all for that so go check them all out on social media Facebook Instagram Twitter all the social media sites so go check them out and thank you guys for watching